split it. There we go. And in the left side, I'm going to go into the node editor. And we're going to, I mean, if I press N and get rid of that little window, and in fact, I can actually make this window pretty small because we don't really need to see much of this. And we're going to mostly be working in the node editor. And if you don't see all this stuff, that's just, this is the way, using MC prep, it sets up the stuff like this. It doesn't really matter if it's exactly like this. But if you don't see this at all, you might have to go down here and click on the um, material for the object. You might be in like render layer, you might have to go to this, and you might be in world. You gotta get over here, basically. Anywho, so here's our, you know, sword. If I render it out, you'll see it just looks like a normal sword. So we want to overlay that kind of fractal noise effect, things like this. So what do I do? I hit shift A to create a new node. I ended up just typing in noise. What do you know? Noise texture. Cool, they already have a noise texture. That saved us some problems. Um, so to see what the noise is actually doing, let's just cut all this other stuff off right now. If I hold control, click and drag, cut the wire. Oh, and for some reason, this, this sword rig I'm using has the blade and the item as different materials, which is actually might be kind of useful. Let me actually undo this. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna actually work with the blade material, just this part. Again, cut this, pull it down here, shift A to create the new node. We're gonna type in noise, and we need an actual diffuse or something that the um, image can go into, that way we actually have a material. And we will bring the noise into the diffuse, and we have something going on. However, it turns solid white. Um, and the reason for that, I believe, has something to do with the noise texture. It just doesn't show up in the material mode. Unfortunately, you have to go to rendered. I don't, yeah, texture doesn't show it either. You have to go to rendered. But as you see, we've got something going on here. But now we want to play with that and make that look more like the actual enchantment effect in Minecraft. So the two things I did, first I added a hue saturation after the noise, and I turned the saturation to zero, because all we're going to want is blue and black. We don't want all the different colors. By default, it has all these silly colors. Sorry if it's a little bit dark. Actually, I can even, until we do the renders, I'm going to turn up ambient inclusion so you can see it a little bit better. Anyway, so let's turn off the saturation, and then I'm going to add a brightness, not a brick texture. I'm going to add a brightness contrast, and then I'm going to hook that up. And we're going to start playing with the contrast until we get, you know, nice looking kind of effects. Bring down the brightness a little bit. Um, the scale seems very high, so now is where you start playing around with things like, okay, maybe the scale's too big. Maybe you want to play with this a little bit more. Um, it also looks like the way it's applying is a little strange. I believe if we go into texture coordinates... Sorry, I'm just playing around with someone for a moment, trying to get a... Here we go, okay. So, played around a little bit, I put it in through a UV coordinates. I noticed that it looked a little strange, it was kind of symmetric. So I brought it in through the UV, I had to play around with the values a lot to get a little more interesting effect. Um, you can have more detail or less, I like to actually have kind of low detail for this effect. Anyway, for some reason with this UVs, I'd have the... Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to see, like, the actual things. Anyway, we don't want it to actually be like that. We want it to be a lot smoother. Um, maybe the size is getting too small. Let's make it bigger. Okay, and here we go. Now, okay, this is actually looking right about what we want, right around there. Um, we've got that kind of effect. But, of course, in Minecraft it was blue. So... You just do something like a curves, RGB curves, put that in here. And then you can start, you know, playing with these values. Let's go into the blue. What I'm trying to do is get the blue effect. I'm just, it's having a hard time getting that those bright spots. I think maybe because there's just too much contrast. I want, I want it to be blue. But it's not, oh here, okay, we're getting close. It's just, it's got really intense highlights, which I don't want. Let me turn the contrast. There we go. Now we're getting closer. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And then, of course, you can play around the colors. Maybe even make it a little more like enchanted, like that. 
Anywho, now we actually kind of have something that looks good. But, we want to put this on top of the sword. So, you can literally, it's as simple as just using an add shader. And we're going to mix whatever we had originally on the top. And we're going to add this enchantment effect over. So, original. And then, with our little enchantment effect. And boom. Like, that's already kind of what we wanted. However, I like to, rather than diffuse, I use an emission. That way it's a little bit brighter. And you can even play around a lot more with, like, how bright you want it to be. Um, and what I also do, in addition to all this, um, we'll get there in actually just a second. Actually, let's just get to it now while I'm thinking about it. What we can do is a little trick I think I showed in my original tutorials on how to make lights brighter without actually changing um, the way it looks. So if you mix it with this... Okay, hold on. Sorry, let me set this up first, and then I'll actually kind of explain it. We're going to take what we just had, everything we had up till now, and we're going to mix it with an emission, and we're going to use this light path is camera ray. If it's the camera ray, it's going to use this emission. If not, or if it's camera, the camera is going to use that one. If not, it's going to use this. So now you can use this. To, if you crank this super duper high, you'll see now. Look how the area around it's getting super bright. And we got the even the blades getting super bright, which you don't really want, obviously that much. But you can make a little bit, and it kind of makes the play. And you can turn this to being like a cool blue. So now we're making the sword actually illuminate. We can even bring this up to like 1.2. And if we want to change this to fuse, do an emission as well. Now the actual sword itself will continue to be bright, even in the dark. So now we really have something that's looking pretty cool. So the very last step is, of course, if I scrub through the timeline, nothing actually moves. But that can be solved simply through a what was it, um, texture mapping, I believe it's called. Texture, not texture coordinates. Map, mapping, mapping, there it is, mapping. If you put a mapping thing in here, we can literally just, it's, it's as simple as just, you know, sliding this value, and there you go, you got your enchanted effect. And you might notice as you start moving this, it looks bad. So let's actually go back to zero. We're going to insert a keyframe on the location at frame zero. And what I usually do, I just make sure this unlock thing is hit. Just go way, excuse me, go way forward in time. And then just, you know, move this value around. We want it to kind of go up the sword. And we're going to set another keyframe. Play it back. Now it looks to be pretty slow. It looks to be very slow. So we can go into our animation editor, likely. We switched, I just switched to animation. Here's our two um, keyframes. If you want to be faster, just pull them together. And what I also do down here in the shader thing, um, we want to grab these, shift E, linear extrapolation. That way it'll continue doing that type of, you know, move. There we go. Now you can see it'll, whatever, if we move these around, oh, and also the, actually the next thing I want to do actually is set, hit, go to the keyframe here and press T, set to linear. We want it to be linear. There we 